Great day, everyone. Jerisha Hawk here. Um, today we have a very special guest with me. Hi, oh. I'm John. <laughs> I don't have my other phone, so we can't share it, but people will... Let's set this up so I don't have to hold it. I'm going to back up a little bit. So, hey, everyone. Today's really unique situation. I have my mentor here. This is my John. A lot of you guys already know him. Is this your first time doing a Facebook Live? It really is. Look, this don't have to be corporate. <laughs> so this is my mentor. I know a lot of you guys always ask about my, my personal board of directors that I tell you guys about and you know talk about my mentors and definitely John has been one of the most influential human beings in my life. Um, so we're going to do a Facebook Live and just like talk. I know it's middle of the day, but if you guys are catching this in the replay and you guys have questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and we will get them all situated. But John, so just like, who who are you, John? Tell the people who is John B. Uh, who is John B? So um, I work for the power company, and uh, I run some generating plants, and I mentor outstanding people <laughs> like uh, Jerisha uh, so that they can bring uh, good things to the world. That's really what I do. He's pretty phenomenal, guys. But one thing I think that's really cool, because somebody always asks, like, how do you meet mentors? And me and John actually met on LinkedIn. Yeah. It's like stars and moons aligning. So I was actually trolling for friends on LinkedIn, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm kind of a lonely person. But, so I had sent this link out to a uh, fellow employee at, at our company, and uh, uh, she responded. And uh, to Jerisha's credit, she has tremendous initiative, if you haven't already noticed. And so she asked for a face-to-face -face meeting. So we did. We met, uh, met together. And uh, I don't know what she was expecting, but... Uh, uh, I wanted to learn from her uh, some things about, because uh, uh, Drisha actually reminds me of the daughter I never had. Aww. And uh, my son is the same age, and so uh, I kind of relate a lot to, uh, to that age group, because my son and I are very close, and uh, Drisha just, um, and I kind of hit it off, but uh, she had a lot of questions for me, and I had a lot of questions for her, and we made it kind of this challenge of, uh, here's what I want to get out of it, here's what uh, she wanted to get out of it, and uh, uh, just kind of developed a relationship yeah hey Venus yes this is one of my mentors John hey Gina I see you guys on there um, but yeah John is like amazing he's definitely the one that helped me start actually thinking about like who I want to be in this world and like how I want to define my life and how I want to show up in the world and like what that even means um, our very hey Ola hey y'all um, but like one of our first meetings John you, you walked in with like on paper, he had his mission statement, his like leadership philosophy documented on paper. I'm like, how many of y'all, most of y'all don't even know what y'all gonna eat for lunch tomorrow, let alone like what your leadership philosophy is. And I don't know, like that was like one of the most impactful things you did at such an early stage. Well, I just wanted to share, you know, I'm at the point in my career where it's all about giving back and things I've learned along the way. So it's been 20, 25 years I've been putting together what uh, my leadership vision is and so I just challenged Risha to be thinking in those terms of how would you explain it to somebody how you lead um, and I think for her it, it led to how she viewed herself in the world and what she could give back and mm -hmm. look look at what we have here I know like, guys I met John probably maybe like six months before I came up with the idea to start a business and even like start all of this but because you asked me that like what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want to be known for? Really made me start thinking critically about the actions I was taking and the opportunities I was saying yes to and like why I was doing those things. So I don't know. I, I just thank you for that. Like you've, real, you've really helped shape this young lad over here. You know, at the end of the day, you can touch even just one person and make their lives better. That's a really, really good day. It is. It is. And I think it's cool that like the internet lets you do that. Like, everybody here is from all over the world. Well, there's only four of you guys watching right now, but four still amazing human beings. Like, Venus, I know Gina's in... Gina, are you at, you're in Illinois. Ola, I don't know where you're from. I can't remember everybody's state, but, like, everybody's all over the world. And it's like, you can reach somebody just by going live on Facebook. Like you never know who you might, ch might touch. So, I guess, John, who do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be me. I want to be whatever I was meant to be and uh, add whatever goodness I can to the world. And so that's been what I've been chasing my whole life. And you're a sports fan? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
been a North Carolina Tar Heel fan since I was a little boy. And uh, depending on what part of the country I live in, you can't uh, get away from the sports. So, uh. <laughs> so we have New York, North Carolina, but formerly Germany. They asked you have a Facebook page, John. Uh, Not public. <laughs> We're trying to get, I want John to start doing more like, get on out there and motivate. Like I don't, there, John's like a hidden gym. I say everybody needs to have a John in their life. And if you don't, you're totally losing. Because how are we going to like package up your excellence so you can touch more people? Because everybody, like I get one-on-ones with you, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, feel blessed. <laughs> I'll just share the knowledge I get from this man. I'm not selling anything. He said, they said you're cute, John. Oh, Down stop. to earth. Stop it. Get him online. Oh, Venus, this was a step. <laughs> this, he's on a Facebook Live right now. This is a step, you know? This took several series of negotiations, I will point out, to get to this point. So be happy with what you got. <laughs> If you guys have questions, now is definitely the time to ask about mentorship or career development, career planning. John's been married a long time. He knows about love and life. I don't know. You have kids. Yep. You've done some pretty amazing things. Eh, I don't know about that. You've served. I have served. I was in the Navy for six years on submarines. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Somebody said, thank you, John. Uh, get him online. They love you, John. Oh, jeez. Hey, Savella. Oh, Diamond said, what made you say yes to being a mentor? So I can say one thing. It wasn't like this, like, like formal relationship where I said, hi, John, do you want to be my mentor? And he said, like, it wasn't like an arranged marriage. But you say, so why did you say yes to being a mentor? Why did you say yes to me asking you to meet with, meet with me one-on-one? -on -one? No, I think more and more, I, I just... I, in looking at the ways I want to give back is is a lot of one-on-one -on -one sharing my experiences and getting people to want to be more than they are, right? And so uh, I was looking, probably at a point where I was looking for those opportunities, and Jerisha is one of, of many that I spend time with. And mm -hmm. we talk about life, and we talk about what you want to be when you grow up, and uh, it's it's a lot of, of sharing and me trying to, to get out of folks uh, where they're at and uh, get past things that might be holding them back. And so this one just clicked uh, really, really well. Mm -hmm. He's never going to get rid of me now. Oh. Ever. Uh, <laughs> he can try. And I don't want to get rid of her. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of her at all. Because she has a very positive effect on me as well. So it's not a one-way street at all, right? No, not at all. I feel like I, I need to give you more. And I would just say, you know, reach out for a mentor. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people out there that, that just are waiting to be asked and um, mm -hmm. uh, like spending time. And, uh, and sharing, you know, their life experiences and what they have to give back. So don't be yeah. afraid to, to ask. I mean, all I can say is no, right? That's and then uh, go find somebody else because they weren't, probably weren't worth it either. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so like, you guys all have a homework assignment. There's probably like three or five people you guys have like looked up to and maybe you want to be a mentor or have a mentor to you, but maybe you've never just asked. Um, I'd say that's one thing I've always done really well, especially here, is I identified people that at all levels of leadership that like really, I'm like, these are awesome human beings. I want to get to know them more. And I literally would just ask them if they would meet me for lunch or whatever. And nine times, I mean, nobody's ever told me no. Some people I've had to wait a long time for, like nine months. But you just be patient. And I feel like if it's meant to be, it'll be. But like, you have to ask the question. I think somebody asked, how do you find them? I don't know, we found each other, well, we work at the same company, but we found each other on LinkedIn. I found people at conferences, they're just speaking, and they just, like, touch my soul, and I'm like, boom, that can be an influential person in my life. I think it's all about relationship. I mean, there's certain mm -hmm. people you click with, certain you don't, but being willing to ask, and, uh, you know, I've had some that I've reached out to, and, and dream big, right? I mean, people that look really successful or accomplished, they're just human beings just like everybody else, and... Uh, um, I know there's one, uh, one gentleman, uh, quite a bit older than I am, but I uh, started several software firms, uh, very, very successful, and I uh, had a, a business encounter with him, and then I just, I just kept reaching out and, uh, you know, had some one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with him, and I was just curious about what uh, were his elements of success, and that, like he 
clicked it off, right? Just kind of like I did for her. Mm -hmm. um, just clicked it off, and um, I just uh, showed a lot of appreciation and admiration for the time that was spent with me, and uh, some of those things to this day. Um, like he, he had one that was called "Delight Your Customers." So you know, because he, I, I found that the company he had, all the, everyone he hired, were just fantastic people to work with. And I said, "How do you? How are you finding these people?" And, and he said, well, it's, it's pretty simple, you know, he said, it's pretty simple, you know, you just, uh, and he, he rattled off uh, the couple of things, it was, del you know, delight your customers was the big one. We want people that, that understand and get that mm -hmm. and um, don't need to be told, you know, what, what to do that have that initiative to just reach out, but um, tremendously successful guy. And so, I mean, whether it's the CEO of some uh, major company or whatever, and you're not going to get an yes answer from everybody, but I think you just uh, you just keep trying, and people that uh, you're drawn to or you admire, and you'd be surprised at the reactions you get sometimes. But you're going to get no's, uh, but then you're going to get one that clicks like this, and mm -hmm. it's a lifelong thing then. Yeah. Ola said, what's one book you'd recommend to emerging, leader, emerging leaders? Y'all, get your pen out. John has, like, the best book recommendations. Oh. Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to read it. That was okay? so good. Understanding that gap between something that happens to you and how you respond to it. Life lesson. Any others? Oh, geez. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I've given them, you all the lists. Man's Search for Meaning was like one of the best books I've ever read. One of the best books, hands down. But I read a lot of books, and I, that's what I recommend because... Uh, I, I, I'm kind of like a learner that way. A lot of people don't like to read books, but I mean, there's plenty of other ways you can get that information now. Um, plenty of ways, even if you don't like to read a book, they can have it read to you. But uh, just trying different sources of information, look, checking out the bestseller list, uh, checking out the ratings on Amazon of you know what are the real popular books. Uh, How many and, books do you read a month? Uh, I usually have four or five going at any one time, and if it doesn't grab me right away, then I'll struggle to get through the rest of it. But you know, some of it's work related, but uh, I'm always looking for that next. Uh, Next leg up kind of thing. It's called Man's Search for Meaning. Thin little book. Can be through it in a day. It's powerful, though. Yeah. I'd say another one. Uh, I know a lot of you ladies are like entrepreneurial. Profit First would be one I highly recommend if you're even remotely thinking about starting a business or doing anything that has to involve, like, building something that involves money. Profit First is blew my mind in regards to building something profitable and not becoming like a slave to your business and what you're doing, but making sure that your business is actually serving you and that you're not fully serving it. Um, so that, that'd be one I, I missed too. Profit first, but John's recommendation was man's search for meaning. Let's see what else they said. Uh, what? <laughs> Isn't it cool? He was honored, humbled. Do you see the movie Cars 3? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. I don't either. How do you find? What made you say yes? What's your why? What's my why? Yeah, like that. What do you mean by that, Venus? Like his why in life? She said, what's your why? Why do you get up every day, John? Why? Um, what's your why? What's my why? Well, I want to try to make myself a better person. So every day I want to make better than the one before. I want to, um, you know, make this planet better. I don't know. It's through the people that you get to touch and uh, influence. And, uh, you know, so I'm a big proponent of servant leadership and that uh, your job as a leader is to make people better because they got a chance to spend some time with you. And so that's really what makes me click anymore. You're a living example of that. Giving, getting those opportunities to, to touch people. You know, touch their touch their lives and and make them better. John so, likes to dance too. He touches lives through dancing too. Excellent dancer. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> you saying that I like to touch lives? Like I think so. John and I had done a, a choreographed routine before together at a conference, and it was phenomenal. Like phenomenal. People to this day who never talked to you at that event, you had an impact on them. Like a year later. Just like, just being able to see somebody with, with your title and with your status, like, you know, get down on the dance floor and do the juju on that beat. Title and status means nothing. <laughs> it's all about the moves. Show us some moves. I don't know if he's going to dance today, y'all. One step at a time. One step at a time. I guess one thing I've challenged Teresha with 
is don't be afraid to ask. Find the answers to the questions you have in your life. Mm -hmm. So we all have questions. We all have things that we don't know the answer to or we don't ha have an explanation for why. Search out and get to a resolution on those questions and, and chase after the questions you have about your life. And uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to find out whatever that answer is. But I've just seen far too many people are held back by uh, not wanting to get answers to the questions they have about their life. And don't be afraid because you can live with whatever the answer is. And then you move on. Look at him dropping gems, y'all. That was really good advice. They had asked, what do you feel about social media? Uh, well, it's good and bad, right? <laughs> so um, I think the ability of people to connect around the world and as quickly as they can. I know I've got a lot of old friends around the country that it's a lot easier to stay in touch with them now and stay on top of their lives. Uh, I think sometimes the speed of that communication and the fact that it allows like-minded people to group themselves and foster hate is not a positive thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> and I look at things like even the, uh, you know, the uh, the Egypt situation where we overthrew the government because of social media, because of the rapid spreading of the information, and then, you know, what long-term benefit did that provide? So I'm struggling a little bit myself of, of the overall positive of it, but I, I think uh, depending on how you use it, and uh, it, it certainly has changed the world, uh, and I think we're looking for the the right ways to do it in a positive way rather than to keep fostering hate because that's certainly not a positive thing. Hey, Tierra. Tierra is like a, a social media like director or something. So I'm interested. I know she's going to have comments on that. But I'm interested to see what her perspective is too. She said, get him a public page. His man is gold. He is gold, y'all. He's like gems. All right. Like well, gems. gold's about to go away. <laughs> so you got what you got. This may never happen again. <laughs> So I hope you all have a great day and uh, keep trying to be better at who you are. Over Thanks. and out, y'all. Bye, guys.